Manager, company policy is we do not pay for overtime, tech, sure, okay, whatever. Sometimes as a consultant you get to see how an office functions from an outsider perspective. Since you are an independent contractor the company treats you differently than an employee. Also, just due to the nature of contract work, your engagement is usually short term. This makes you a temporary fixture and sometimes are just treated as the fly on the wall like you do not exist. And this can lead to some interesting observations including seeing train wrecks in progress. This is one of those tales. Not so much about the nuts and bolts of tech support, but more about the people and some good old-fashioned just desserts. Background. As a consultant, you are always going to be the IT guy whether you like it or not. No matter how you market your services every single company is going to assume you can do anything with a computer. And, when business is slow, this is not necessarily a bad thing if you just need work. About 10 years ago I found myself in a situation. I got an inquiry through my website asking about assistance deploying some workstations and other mundane tasks. Usually I would pass on this kind of work, but it was winter and the other client work was dry that month. A guy still has to pay the bills so I followed up and within a day the scope of work was signed. Easy stuff. The company had its own IT department, but just needed some extra hands. I was going to be one of three outside contractors that would deploy some workstations, do some server admin work, and set up some other equipment for a new department. The money wasn't the best, but it was time I had free and it was all swing shift work, meaning no traffic and I get to sleep in. Not bad. The first day I report as requested about 3 p.m. and talk to our contact. He was a senior engineer in charge of part of the IT department there. Saying he really doesn't have time to do anything more than a quick introduction as they are slammed with work he shows us the ropes and leaves us to it. Between three of us we break down our specialities and parse out the work. Everyone knows this is a cakewalk of a job and wants to just get it done fast as the pay was flat rate. I take the server work and see my contact who the system administrator. Figuring he was probably gone for the day as it was mid-evening I was just going to leave him a note asking him to call me, but to my surprise he is at his desk. In fact, just about everyone in the IT department are milling around. Didn't think much of it at the time, just that it was one busy department and the guys must be pulling double shifts. He shows me the systems and I get to work. Around midnight we are wrapping up for the night and the three of us break down what we have left with the senior engineer who is still on site. The plan is to wait until Friday night to deploy the workstations and get everything in place. The senior engineer says most of his team will probably be there all weekend anyhow so it doesn't matter to him. I left thinking, man that is a busy place. Those guys must really be pulling down the overtime. I wonder what is going on they have so much work. As I walked out the door that night. Soon enough I would find out the deal. Friday night head to the work site a little early on Friday figuring if we all pull a long night we should be able to wrap it up and all get our weekend back. Things are going great and we are ahead of schedule so the senior engineer offers to take us out a local diner while we wait for the office to close up so we can deploy workstations without tripping over people. At the diner. Senior engineer, SE, I want to thank you guys for all your hard work. We are all overworked and when we got approval to contract out this job everyone was excited. IT guy, me, hey glad to be of service. Looks like you guys are crazy busy. Is everyone pulling doubles and doing weekends to handle your ticket load? SE, oh we are understaffed so we all have to pull extra hours. Me, that sucks, but must be some great overtime. SE, overtime. Not really. We are all salaried. Some loophole or something. We just put in the time because we all need the job right now. The conversation trailed off from there, but it left me thinking, in this state most IT workers are eligible for overtime as a matter of law. There is no loophole like that. Something isn't right. Back at the work site. I'm in the network closet with the systems administrator HOKing up some ports and finishing the server work. He is a friendly guy so we start chatting. Me, I was talking to your buddy and it seems like you guys work insane hours here. I asked trying to fish for a little information, systems admin, SA, oh yeah, it has been like this for a year. 60 hours is a light week these days. It is bullsh t. Me, yeah the other guy said you don't get overtime. SA, laughs. That is what the boss tell us. Let me show you something. He pulls up an email exchange he had with his manager. It is dated about 10 months ago and makes the very point I thought that the entire department should be getting overtime and the law requires it. His boss's response in bold and caps was it is company policy to not pay any overtime. Working more than 40 hours is part of the job. Deal with IT or find another place to work. Then the SA smirks and shows me his response to the boss, sure. Okay. Whatever, his emphasis. And that was the end of the exchange. Me, look I'm not a lawyer, 
but you might want to call up the labor department. I'm pretty sure it is illegal for you to not be getting overtime. Then to my surprise, the SA pulls up another email from his personal account. Oh it is blatantly illegal. I asked a lawyer and this was his response. He showed me a memo explaining the law and that most likely a lawsuit would be successful. This was dated about 9 months ago, me, confused, so you guys know you should be getting overtime but not getting paid and everyone is okay with that? SA, we all make sure to log all of our hours and document the time. Me, still confused, but you still aren't getting actually paid overtime? SA, no but we will. Here is the kicker. According to the lawyer the labor department will look back at the hours we put in for the last 12 months and award us retroactive overtime. So all of us just log our time and keep records then in about a month we are going to file a claim altogether. The company is going to be on the HOK for all that overtime and they won't be allowed to fire any of us for reporting them either. Then the coup de grace, SA, we all figured when this whole thing started if we press the point back then they would just figure out a way to screw us. So we just all decided to stay quiet, put in the time they tell us to work, and we will get our bonus check when it is all said and done if this stuff is all backdated. That is some cold stone strategizing. Me, how many hours do you think you guys have piled up? SA, hard to tell. Everyone keeps their own paper logs to keep it quiet. We also don't talk about it too much so nothing gets out but last time we met outside of work it was a boatload of time. I figure, for myself, they will owe me about 13 to 14 months of salary and overtime and when it is all said and done, add up damages, penalties, interest, it will probably total almost two years of pay. Me, holy. S.A., so if the guys won't talk about it and seem eager to work all these long hours, now you know why. We finished up the job that night, I exchanged contact information with a few guys and said if they had any other contract work to think about giving me a call. That was it, until. Three months later. I am at another job and see an email come in from the systems administrator, subject line overtime claim, hey IT guy, hope you are doing well. We all ended up filing a big overtime claim with the state and the company fired us for supposedly falsifying our timesheets. The lawyer is sorting it all out, but anyway I wanted to know if I could give your name to an investigator who is looking for witnesses to verify some of the extra hours we worked. Some details followed, I agreed to talk to the investigator and got a call about a week later. He asked me some routine questions about times and dates and wanted me to email him over some proof I did the job. Then he started going into the details of the case. We got this company for probably a million in overtime and damages between all the guys in the department plus the firing is probably illegal so that is going to be another few hundred thousand on top of it. The insurance company wants to settle and once we wrap up the due diligence work I think these guys are all going to make out rather nicely. I didn't hear anything for a while, until another email came in from the systems administrator, subject line re, overtime claim, just wanted to let you know we settled this whole thing. Company caved pretty quick once it was clear we kept honest logs of our time and the local management violated parent company regulations for the sake of making their site budget look better. Can't go into details, but we all got sizable checks, enough to pay off some loans, and go back to school. I'll have to find a new job but after I get my grad degree that shouldn't be an issue. Appreciate you talking to the investigators. Thanks IT guy.